Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini National Treasures Baseball. Four box, random team break, number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. By the way, that guy right there in the picture, 53 home runs. He's beat Aaron Judge's uh, rookie record for a uh, number of home runs. 53 home runs, crazy. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. Now, as you saw in the item description, the first 16 spots sold are eligible for an extra spot, a bonus spot. The early bird gets the worm. So let's copy that list right there and see who gets the early bird spot after 10 times. Four and a six, 10 times. Name on top gets the worm. One, two, three, four, five, six, and another four times. Seven, eight, Nine, and good luck. Tenth and final time. After ten, Thomas, congrats to you. You were an early bird. And now you have caught the worm. So let's see how that works out for you. Now let's grab the names again. And we'll put them into this list right here, along with all of the teams. All 30 are in right there. And then let's roll that. And randomize it five times. Four and a one. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we've got Logan all the way down to Sean Corbett. Let's switch over to the, if you look at the bottom tab right, there's the team list tab and the early bird tab and the team list tab. So in the team list tab, let's paste that there. Four and a one, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. Good luck, everybody. After five, we've got the Miami Marlins down to the Royals. The Royals, I think, Gilo was saying earlier, who is the player that has the most home runs in the AL now, passing Mike Trout? And is this the first time... A Royals player has led the AL in home runs? I find that hard to believe. The well, Royals have been around for a minute or two. Trades are allowed. Logan has the Marlins up for trade. Here's the fresh case right here that will be popping open. We'll give it a few moments for trades. Jorge Soler, right? Man. Oh, and here's the checklist for everybody in the chat. Hmm. Man, I guess I just... I just thought that there would have been someone on the Royals, like some random player in like 1978 who just like slugged like 45 home runs one year and, and just stumbled into a home run crown at least once. So Solaire Power, right. I don't know, you're, tell you're telling me that like Carlos Beltran didn't do it one year? You know, that... I don't know. I'm just like kind of looking at old, old Royals. You, tell, you telling me that? No, George Wright wasn't that much of a power guy, but I don't know. Anyway, all right. Looks like no trades. Hi, Rory. What's going on? No trade. Trade offers. Is this going to happen, or should we just move on? Brewers for the ATL. Oh, should I sort this by team? Sort by column B by team. There we go. Yeah, you would think like Bo Jackson maybe stumbled into like 40 some odd home runs and then won an AL. I don't know. That just that just seems weird.
I don't know. Who would just think that there was there was that? All right. Looks like no trades. No, it looks like a lot of trade offers, but no trades being done. So trade window closed. TWC. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everybody. This is random team number three. NT baseball. Well, I got to look at this this home run top ten list and see. Um, you know, and see uh, what Royal got close. All right, there you go. On the twenty eighth, four box random team three, two thousand nineteen national just dropped yesterday. National Treasures Baseball. And there we go. I don't know who got last spot mojo in this. That would have been Austin Mendenhall. So there you go. Phillies for you. Actually, once it's in single digits, Daniel, six spots actually isn't a lot at all. It's a lot if it's over halfway. If it's in single digits... I feel like that should break. Are people are into the dual caser tonight? We we can do we can run the dual caser tonight too. I think Nick Jaspi said that he'll be able to help with that. That deadline would be a little bit later in the evening, right? Maybe maybe a little like eight forty five, nine o'clock LA time. If you want to squeeze that in. So if you want to run that, let's do it, folks. Nah, it's not a lot, Daniel. With the proper motivation, proper momentum, it could happen in a flash. I know, it's annoying when they put the tape right there. Does that mean big hit, Rory? I actually haven't kept track of that pattern. All right. There's Jose Barrios, 4 out of 25 for the Twins. Robert Lenny with the Twins. Let's see how they do in the playoffs. Then we've got Forrest Whitley out of 25. At Forrest Whitley, we'll go to the Strohs, Thomas with the Astros. Both times you've seen it, it's been a Mantle Maris dual relic. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, there's a book per box. There's Mike Piazza, 35 out of 49. Oh, Rory getting hopes up. Getting Rogers' hopes up. That will be uh, for Bruce. Got randomized the Metropolitans. Mike Piazza. We got Harvey Kuhn, 40 out of 99. I'm a man. I'm 40. Roger with a piece of Harvey's bat. He has the Tigers. 
Redemption is Jake Bowers, rookie signatures for the Tribe. Josh Callahan with the Indians. Got Ryan O'Hearn, 61 out of 99. Some nice color in that window right there. Triple Relic and Autograph. Sean Corbett got randomized the Royals. Triple Relic and Autograph, 44 out of 49, Ramon Laureano. Oakland A's, Jeffrey S. with the Athletics. Then we've got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice, 60 out of 99, two-color Triple Relic. An autograph for Roger, who got randomized the Bluebirds. Nice. All right, and let's see what the book is about. The book is 14 out of 25 Legends material, red show and dice. Nice. Piece of the lumber and that old jersey right there, too. An old piece of scratchy wool. Going to Sean Corbett and the Cardinals. That's pretty cool. All right. Next box. Sorry, Eastwood. You can blame Rory for over-promising and under-delivering. I always like to under-promise and over-deliver. Ooh, a button on top. All right, we'll use this blank card right there. And we got Mitch Hanniger, one out of three. I love these button cards. Seattle Mariners, Sean Corbett. Nice, Sean, one out of three. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. We got Jonathan Davis for the Blue Jays, 63 out of 99. Yeah, I'm just giving you our time, Rory. <laughs> yeah, he got a Vlad Auto anyway. And this Jonathan Davis for Roger. We've got Clint Frazier, Pinstripe Relic, 80 out of 99. Colossal Relic for Roger and the Yankees. Wait, why am I not watching baseball? Rory, are you guys going to win the division? What's the deal? What channel that game's on? Mm -mm. 
All right, anyhow. I'll find that channel after this break. All right, next one is Ozzy Alvius, 2 out of 10. Matthew Gomes with the Bravos. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. I'm surprised no one took him up on that Braves offer. Or got the deal done on that. Game use material in there. Next up, Colossal Relic, Shohei Otani, 81 out of 99. Colossal Relic for the Angels. Roger with the Halos as well. Good randomizer for you. Daniel Garrett saying Angels going to win the World Series next year. Well, maybe with this guy healthy, Mike Trout healthy, Joe Adele up. Maybe if they sign Garrett Cole in free agency maybe. Madison Bumgarner too, get some starting pitching. And a closer. And if Albert Pujols turns back the clock, then yeah, Angels will win the World Series. Twenty-nine out of ninety-nine. Tony Gwynn, nice Tony Gwynn relic. Game used material for Colton Carver and the Padres. And there's rookie material signatures too. Austin Riley, Braves. Matt Gomes. X-Line says, uh, Cardinals getting whooped tonight, but they're still winning the division? It's awfully close. If the Cardinals lose, right, where's the game score right there? Yeah, Cardinals are down by six. Brewers and Rockies are scoreless. I mean, it's going to come down to, it might come down to the last game of the season. There is Christian Stewart, 34 out of 49. One day there'll be a baseball player named Robert Pattinson, and they'll have a dual autograph together. Roger with the Tigers. And then we've got Michael Kopech, 22 out of 25, triple relic and auto for the White Sox. Ed Aarons got randomized the Southsiders. Nice. And the book is Lloyd Wayner. Nice cut signatures, 5 out of 15. Old school pirate going to John Harshbarger. There you go, John. Nice. Uh, no, Rory. I don't think you'd go to a game 163 if it was tied. No, I think there's like a head-to-head -head tiebreaker too, isn't there? First? Maybe not. For Cardinals Brewers? Oh, there you go. Yeah, Don says that he, he thinks that the division will go to the Brewers because of they've got a better head-to-head -head record against the Cardinals. So if it's still locked up by the end of the uh, by the end of Sunday. Oh wait, there is a head to head? Oh, okay, okay. So Jack and X-Line are saying that there will be a game 163, but the tiebreaker the tiebreaker will determines home field advantage for game 163. That's right. Yeah, there was the Rockies Dodgers 163. That's right. That seems... That was a year ago, Chris. Could be a lifetime ago. Tommy Pham for the Rays. Jimmy Brandt on the board.
Speaking of the Rockies, there he is, Nolan Arenado, 74 out of 99. What happened this year, Chris, with the Rockies? I would have said that the Rockies would be... I thought the Dodgers would win the division, but I thought the Rockies would be the team two, three games behind the Dodgers by the end of the season. What an odd season for the Rocks. Five out of 99, Anthony Rizzo. Weird season for the Cubs, too. Kind of melting down at the end of the season. This goes to Sean Corbett and the Cubbies. Cleats. Ken Griffey Jr. Cleats. Five out of 20 for Sean Corbett and the Red Legs. Wow. That's pretty cool. Was not expected. Must be the, like a side panel of his cleats or something like that. Sort of hard to see the detail, but there, there you go. You can see that stitching right there. Yeah, Rex, Rex is like, Cubs won yesterday, and they're winning today after a nine-game losing streak. Where was that? Where were those W's last week? There is Luis Ortiz, three-color patch and autograph, 54 out of 99 for the Orioles. Ah, the pitching, right, was a, was a hassle for the Rockies. Yeah, they, they got to address, they got to figure that out. Jack B. wants to see a game 163. He's a Nationals guy. And there's Brad Keller, Players Weekend, autographed to 99 for the Royals. That'll be for Sean Corbett. John G., we got for the World Series. Well, I'd like to see the Dodgers beat the Yankees in the World Series. We got Justice being served, Justice Sheffield. It's pretty cool. Four out of 49 rookie signature names for the Seattle Mariners, Sean Corbett. I'm hoping the Dodgers can pull it off, John. John, both Johns, John and John. Another rookie signature names Eloy Jimenez. Beyond ready. Yeah, he's only going to get better. Out of 49, which is kind of scary to think about. Ed Aarons. Chicago White Sox. Nice. Big card stock, too. White Sox could be scary in a short period of time. The book is 90 out of 99, Nathaniel Lowe. Debut jersey and autograph. This bright yellow jersey right there, autograph. 99, Tampa Bay Rays with that book. Not to be confused with his teammate Brandon Lau and Nate Lowe. Tampa Bay Rays, that'll be for Jimmy Brandt. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Going back to the Rockies really quick. Chris saying we're in it in late July. Only had one star that was on the opening day lineup. The bullpen was already making their tea times. And it's not for lack of trying. It's not like they're they're spending money on that team. You know, they're locking up guys with big contracts, and I don't know. Something's just just off there, but. And Daniel Garrett, meanwhile, fantasizing about, oh, what if the Angels get Garrett Cole? 
Madison Bumgarner in that rotation with a healthy Otani, Joe Madden managing the team, Mookie Betts a free age, get him on this on the Angels, Joe Adele gets called up, Albert Pujols turns back the clock. There's Patrick Corbin, 48 out of 99. Definitely nervous about Dodgers facing the Nationals. Scherzer, Strasburg, Corbin. CC Sabathia, 82 out of 99. Yeah, a lot of ifs for the Angels. I don't know if that's going to ha quite ha turn, out, turn out for them that way, Jim. Yankees with that, Roger. Then we a one of one, Bo Bichette. Nice six swatch plate there. That goes to Roger and the Blue Jays. There you go, Roger. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And I think the Blue Jays will also be a crazy team within a year or two with all their youngsters coming up the ranks. There's Tommy Heinrich for the Yankees. 13 out of 25 retro materials for Roger and the Yankees. Then from the six. Sean Reed Foley, 26 out of 99. I guess that's what they call Toronto. The cool kids, anyway. I don't know, maybe it has to do with area code, maybe? Maybe there were six districts or boroughs in, uh, in Toronto. Maybe that's why they call it the six. The world may never know. Only Drake knows. Also for Roger, by the way, Blue Jays. He's got three cards in a row. Next up is David Bodie. It's a nice patch in there. 3 out of 25. Rexing Epstein and, uh, and Madden are in talks. Maybe, maybe that relationship will continue. Or maybe they'll sell everybody off. Who knows? What would you get? What would Chris Bryant yield in a trade market? That would be crazy. This goes to the Cubs. Sean Corbett with the Cubbies. We got a couple more, and then the book we got for the Angels. Dave Fletcher, seven out of ninety-nine. That'll be for Roger and the Halos. We've got social signatures. Kevin Biggio, Craig's kid, another Blue Jay, and another one for Roger. What a random team break for you, man. Wow, Rory saying nothing. Chris Bryant overrated trash. Shots fired from Rory, Brewers fan. All right. And the book is going to be six-pack material signatures. Michael Kopech, 24 out of 99. Nice finish for the break, and nice finish for Ed Aarons, who has the Chicago White Sox. And there you go. No randomizers? No, nothing. Nice, clean break. That was Random Team 3. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's more NT baseball in the store. Check it out, and we'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.